There ain't no gold in this river that I've been washing my hands in forever. But there is hope in these waters that I can't bring myself to swim when I am drowning in this silence. Go easy on me, baby I was still a child I didn't get the chance to feel Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. We're doing Adele's new song, Easy On Me. Uh, I went ahead and transcribed the piano part. Very beautiful song, and it's a nice fingerstyle arrangement that I think you'll really enjoy. So we're going to jump in. I'll show you a more beginner version. So it works really well with guitar. If we have the capo on, we can access a bunch of these open chords and, uh, and kind of capture the essence of the song. Check out the tab on the Patreon where there's a full arrangement there written out. Other than that, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's jump on in and go through this arrangement. All right, so we have the capo on the third fret. Let's start with the left hand chords and just get the song in our ears and then we'll get to the right hand finger style part. Um, you could just play uh, this D here, although I'll show you a different one in a, in a minute for the intro. And then B minor 7, I recommend this one where you bring everything down to 2nd fret, open 2nd fret, 3rd fret, okay, then D over F sharp. G and that's the beginner arrangement where basically you can just strum some chords that are not too too difficult yet so D B minor 7 D over F sharp G that would be the intro for the verse we'll continue this D B minor 7 D over F sharp just like the intro, but now we'll do G, A, D, B minor 7. This time we'll go to A, sus4, to G, and then G major 7. You could just stay on G if you want to keep it really beginner. Okay, that would be the verse in a more simple arrangement where we're not doing uh, finger picking or anything, just strumming. For the chorus, D, B minor, A, D over F sharp, E minor 7, D over F sharp, G. We'll repeat that, D, B minor, A, D over F sharp, E minor 7, D over F sharp, G. Okay, And you could play the whole song with just those chords with a basic string pattern of down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So let's cover now the finger style arrangement I played on the demo. It's more or less an exact transcription of the piano, which is always a fun challenge because a piano players often play voicing just a little bit differently uh, than we might on a, on a guitar. So um, it's a nice chance to do something a little bit different. So it's actually a D5 here, so that would be uh, open, second, third, fifth fret, and you pinch all four, th four strings there. Then fourth string, third string, first string. And then you, we're gonna do a D sus2, so release the pinky, open first string, pinch the four strings again. Then we're gonna bounce back and forth between the thumb and, first, and uh, second and third strings, but we're gonna go to a uh, second fret second string thumb back to third fret so that first bar one more time nice isn't that nice b minor seven second fret fifth string open second fret third fret pinch the fifth through second strings then fifth third second and then we pinch the fifth and first three strings with the first string being open. Fifth string, 
move to second fret second string thumb and then back to third string what's happening is it's a one to six progression so far that's the relative minor and the melody is going da, 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 chords all right always nice to know what's going on not just learn a song without it taking a deeper look uh, D over F sharp uh, really cool stuff so that's a D over F sharp sixth string with a thumb four third second strings with a finger pinch then move down to second fret second string and no thumb this time and then repeat that over and over three times twice, three times, and then a G, kind of a G sus2, so that would be third fret, skip a string, open second third, pinch them all, then release it all for a regular G. So that's the intro, let's take that really slow here, that entire intro, three, four. Good news is that uh, that pretty much covers a lot of the verse already. So let's go into the verse. All right, so on the verse, just some slight differences here. Four third, second strings, and then third, second, first four strings pinch with the first string open. Second fret, uh, second string with the third string together, back to third fret. So that's. Now the B minor seven pinch just like the intro we just skip the bass uh, so it's very similar to the intro there then the D over F sharp is exactly the same this parts the same too the G but now we do a G a pickup and then next line uh, but this time we want the fifth fret on the first string so and the rhythm is a little tricky here. It's uh, fourth, third, first, then open, first string, second and third strings, bass, third fret. Nice. Now B minor seven, pinch, and then fifth, third, second, first three strings and bass, bass, second fret, second string, bass, back to third fret. Now instead of a D over F sharp, we go to A sus4, and we do this uh, pattern, this melody pattern with an A sus4 instead. Beautiful five chord here. So that would be open two, two, three, pinch them all, and then second fret. Repeat three times. Then the G sus2, but instead of like that before, we, we would just continue the third to second fret melody on the second string. So you want to bar the second fret on the second and third strings and go back and forth. And there's once, twice, on the third time, you hammer on a second fret first string. G major 7, it becomes G major 7 here, and we go first three strings and bass, and then open first string, three times. Now a regular G, like that you can kind of roll it, and then back to second fret, and then we're into the chorus. Whew. So you know, it's a little more advanced, right? So let's uh, kind of play this verse slowly together with the tab up and we'll see if we can get through it at a nice tempo nothing too nothing too quick ready three four
very nice. So for the chorus, we actually get a break rhythmically. It's 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 very quarter note heavy. Uh, it's a good test of your groove because the quarter note pulse is so strong on the piano and bass in the recording that it's just it's just great. And that's what happens with these really great studio musicians. So we're gonna go for that here. So we're gonna do a D chord, first four strings, and you wanna pinch them three times. Now a B minor, fifth and first three strings, and then an A, same thing, fifth and fifth string, first three strings, twice. And then you're gonna wanna quickly throw in the second fret on the third and fourth strings. And then a D over F sharp. Two, three, and a bam. Okay. Then an E minor seven. All we need to do is we keep our third finger there and just move our lift our second finger and move our first finger to the second fret first string. And then we're gonna do E minor seven with the thumb first time and then just the fingers. Twice more. Now we have a little a little hiccup with the bass, which is really great. So after these strings three times, thumb, fingers, quick D over F sharp. And that's anticipated, so it would be one, two, three, a four and, sorry, a four E. It's actually on the 16th note. One, two, three, and a four E and. Good. Now a G sus two, third fret, open, second fret, third fret. Pinch, fingers, pinch, thumb, and then every and then pinch and then thumb. So that would be okay. We'll run the whole chorus in a sec. Let's do the next line. Very similar. Nice. Now we do a little <clears throat> quick little third fret to second string. Uh, pull off to second fret. So that would be a twice pinch one two. And then pin, uh, pull off with the third fret. As you pull off, hit the fifth and third strings. And then D over F sharp. Sorry. Then E minor seven. Fingers, fingers, same as before. All right? And then G add two, a uh, sus two. One, fingers with the thumb. All right, so let's do the whole chorus. I went ahead and transcribed every little note that was different, every little rhythm. So I'll cover that now, but you're free to just play the intro as the interlude as well. So first four strings, and then fourth string, third string, open first string, back and forth, second fret, third fret. Sorry. Then the B minor seven. Here's a fun thing here, we pinch. Fifth, third, second, fifth fret to open pull off as you hit the fifth, third, and second strings. Pretty sweet. Then back and forth. Second fret, third fret. That would be kind of difficult. Then G, D over F sharp, the same move as before. Oh, that's the same before. All right. For the second verse, <clears throat> the main difference is it goes to the A sus4 instead of the D over F sharp in the first phrase. So, uh, everything's pretty much the same here. D minor. Kind of goes to the fifth fret. But then it's the same. Now it goes to A sus4. It's a little more hopeful sounding. A, D. 
now a really sweet thing happens here where they do a G over D. Okay, so that would be pinch, third fret, fifth fret on the second and first string. Now a G over D, so open four three three, pinch to D. Then a B minor seven, back to normal. A sus four, G sus two, everything's the same as before. Okay, then the chorus is the same as before as well. Then there's a third uh, sort. Th there's a third run of the verse and chorus. So after the, the second chorus, goes back to the interlude. Then we have another verse, which is like the second verse, another chorus. Then an outro, which is exactly like the intro, so we've already covered that. Mm. So, what a, what a workout, but really fun to, to tackle. Hopefully you've enjoyed, um, you know, take this slow, take everything, uh, every section slowly, and give it the, the due time it deserves. Not easy to play a piano part on guitar, but it is doable. So let me know how it goes, and if there's any questions, enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. Quite a, quite a song from Adele here. Really fun to learn. So hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, the thumbs up. We'll see you next lesson. Bye.